The following is a presentation of TFNN. The TFNN Bull Bear Trading Hour. Every trading day, live at 10 a.m. Eastern. Call now, toll free at 877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The TFNN Bull Bear Trading Hour. Now, Tom and Tommy O'Brien. Welcome, folks. Appreciate you growling and prowling with us out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 86, Nasdaq up 15, S&P's up 5.5, gold, gold up a buck and a half at 14.28. You get silver up 10 cents, $16.52. Cents. Silver's leading that charge there and, and continues to lead it inside that metals market. Notes, uh, well, uh, oil, oil flat, $56.22. Ten-year note, down five ticks, 127.13. 30-year off 21 at 154.09. And king dollar, king dollar up 395 ticks, 97.340. King dollar's going for its highs, folks. The high in the last, uh, well, six months, 97.715. Light volume, but guess what? It's holding price. Euro's at 111. The yen is trading at 108.15. And the pound is at 124. Let's go over to our man, Mr. Kevin Hinks at TD Ameritrade. Think of swim as we do every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. And don't forget, folks, every trading day here, you want to understand options, futures, Check it out, 11 to 12 Eastern Standard Time. If you haven't test-driven yet the Think of Swim platform, real easy to do. Come over to our website at TFNN. Hit the banner, bring it up. They'll allow you to trade with paper money, and you'll be able to understand all the different strategies inside the option market. Kevin Hanks, it's the most wonderful time of the year. <laughs> You're exactly right. Welcome to Earnings Palooza, guys. Oh, oh. I mean, think about this. This week, and that's, that's counting uh, yesterday, and the names are already out, 840 names. Wow. 146 S&P 500, 10 Dow, 29 NASDAQ this week. We're getting most of the FANG stocks. I mean, it's just, this is the week that really, it, it's, it's almost too much. Right? Yeah. I mean, the earnings are coming out fast and furious, as fast as you can get them, and it gets really better as the week goes on. I know. You define a whole quarter with how you do this week, right? I mean, yes. you almost can. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, so we're having some fun, that's for sure. No doubt. You know, Kevin, I was listening to the program uh, about a week and a half ago, right? And yeah. what I'd like to, if you can explain to the audience, right, it was pretty cool. You guys were setting up calendar spreads, right? And yeah. you were explaining that, um, and, and I, I, kind of, I, I definitely understand it, but I'd love you to explain it to the audience, that when you're setting up a calendar spread, particularly this time of year, you want to make sure that the one side of it is past Labor Day, right? Yes, right. Good, 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 good catch, Tom, because what we do when I personally talk to people about calendar spreads and trading summer, remember, by definition, trading summer, you're going to get a little bit of lower volatility, right? The yes. VIX is sitting down there at some pretty low levels and has the chance, if we grind higher, to actually go lower. Now, what a calendar spread does is it, the advantage is you're buying the further out date. Okay. Right? Yeah. So you're at your you're buying volatility. You're owning volatility when it's low like this, trading volatility back and forth. Now, what we do and what is I literally would write on young traders trading cards before they went down to the floor was don't buy summer. Right? right? So what we're doing is making the long side of your calendar spread. Okay. After Labor Day. Yeah. So you're buying into fall when by just by definition and, and human nature, trading's gonna pick up and there'll be more eyes on the market. That's what you'll own. Against those, you're gonna sell the summer months against it when there's less movement. Remember, and that allows you to collect theta and be patient, but still have a chance to get the move and knock away at that break-even point and the net investment of that trade all he's giving away too much good information they cut him <laughs> off we got him maybe no i was going to say those are the conversations i love isn't on, it on those on the on that show it, hopefully we can get him back uh that that is huge There's because no doubt it about is it. you know it's like okay you want to be long volatility right. right a lot of people might want to be long volatility right now when you have the vix i mean what do we just pull it up vix is trading at 13.35 yep. market at all-time highs the Fed's got some volatility. We're deep into earnings season. Right. Um, 
yeah, a lot of people could say, you know what, I think volatility is going to spike. Well, how do you do that? Right. What's the best way? Right. What's the best strategy? What, what's the best way? Risk defined. I hear the phone ringing. We're going to yeah. get them back. Uh, what's thing. the best way, right? Because a lot of people, you got to get both sides of it. What do you think is going to happen? Yeah. And then, how do you profit on the best way to profit off that strategy? Um, and I that, think we got him on, back on the line, maybe. Kevin? He's back. Yes, sir. Yeah, I'm back, guys. That, that's go ahead. That we we, we were just having. This is this is, is so such right. a great conversation. Yeah, you know, yeah. of the strategy and how to do it. But go ahead and finish, please. What we were talking about was just using the long side of that calendar spread and choosing the long side at a, at a at a time after Labor Day, where more eyes come back on the market and and it'll be more busy, and then selling the slow summer months against that, and that allows you to basically, if the market doesn't move and markets sometimes don't move during the summer months, to, to basically lower that net investment. And by doing that, you actually also lower the break even on that trade. So that's the way we like to tell our customers to, uh, to if you're going to do this strategy, you see low volatility, you want to take advantage of the low implied volatility, using a calendar spread, go after Labor Day for your lungs and then sell the summer against it. Yeah, and you know what's so cool? Like. I guess maybe I, I'm sure it doesn't line up every summer, but right now the volatility is so low. It's so cool that it, you right. know, you're talking like, okay, can it stay here forever? We know that yes, it can. But the reality is, is that probability, which we're in, guess what? You know, um, the the way that everything seems to be setting up is that you know we have the Fed, we have window dressing, we have the end yeah. of the month, we have earnings, and then guess what? And then we have the fall. I was going to say we're right. not always at all time highs at the end of July, right? No, no, no. <laughs> no. Yeah, but as you guys know. Uh, you know, if the VIX is sitting 14 in the 13 level, 13 and a half, 14 and a half level, guess what? It can go lower. If we grind higher yes. into this earnings season, it can go lower. Yes. Right. So that just allows you during that to not get caught being having any longs in that summer months where they can really sit on the implied volatility. And, and it actually gets a little out of whack. So that's what we tell our clients to do and our viewers just from a little you know be only because i've seen it my eyes have yes. seen it many times in many summers and it's just a more efficient way to play you know don't get caught being long too much too many things during the summer months and you know what's so cool folks is that when you you know i mean kevin was in the pit forever when you really talk to people that were in the pit volatility is one of the prime deals that they've always been trading, right? I mean, oh, exactly right. Yeah, and know. think about here, and here's why: volatility, implied volatility, reverts. It's a mean reverting asset, right? Yes. But when it's low, it's going to go back up. When it's high, it's going to come back down. That's what professional traders love. They love things they can trust. Like a stock can go up, you can short it, and it can never come back down. Beyond a stock me. Can go, <laughs> a stock can go down. Yeah, a stock can go down and never go back up. Right. But implied volatility will always revert back to its mean, and that's what professional traders love, something they can trust. Isn't that great? It, yeah. It's just, it's, it's so huge, Kevin. I'll tell you, that program was great, and, I'm, and we really appreciate it, Thank man, because I'm, I'm telling you, it, you know, it, no matter how many times you, you hear it, you get to understand it more every time. Definitely. You know? Folks, right here, 45 minutes from now. Kevin, you have a great one, a safe one. Of course, we look forward to the program. Thanks for having me on, guys. Thank Thanks, you. Kevin. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are coming right back. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. We have the Dow Industrials down four. NASDAQ's up 57. S&Ps are up three. We'll come right back. If you're not currently using the TAS Profile Scanner when looking at setting up your trading opportunities, then your arsenal is short a mighty weapon. The TAS Profile Scanner is a standalone piece of software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, TAS understands that in today's technological world, the use of top-flight software applications and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. You also gain access to the webinar that Steve Dahl and Tom O'Brien just hosted, The Best Way to Use the TAS Profile Scanner to Profit. This webinar archive is available for all subscribers immediately upon signing up. All new subscriptions also come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Start your subscription by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the TAS Profile Scanner under the Services tab. Sign up today. 
Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up and coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LA. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call, call, call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow right now is trading uh, up 54. NASDAQ is down one. S&Ps are off two and a half. Yeah, let's... Uh, what happened to the NASDAQ, let, man? Let's take a look at that. Uh, so, uh, the market's in, getting primed for Kevin Hinks at 11 o'clock with some... That VIX. Maybe the VIX is going up. I like it. Yeah. So... Inside the NDX 100, strength. Look at Hasbro. We're selling toys, toys man. Toys, man. 6.7%. That's funny up. how many things get lost. Sorry to interrupt you, but yep. you don't get lost in earnings because there's so many big names. I, I didn't even realize Hasbro was coming out. They're yep. up 7%. You know, they're a... They're a $15 billion company, and look at that, you know, rebound they've had. I, that's, that's an all-time high. No, let, oh, let me see. It's a 52-week uh, like, high, uh, so let, let's, let's, let's see. Let's see, because I feel like they've had some real woes. No, pretty yeah. remarkable. Yeah, all That time. is an all-time, is it? Yeah. So, so watch this. This is good. You know what this is going to be? Matt, this is going to be. This is going to be. That chart only went back to 2011, so I don't know oh, what's going on there. This, they might have changed their names. This is going to be all the Disney stuff, I bet. Yeah. Let, let's 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 see this because they they made the deal. They have all that Avengers. There's something weird going on where they they must have changed their equity. Yeah. That's a, that's just to point out that. So let's it's see. It's still what, probably at all time highs, man, because since 2011, it's 2019. Good for them. Right. They said um, navigating a tough environment. Kids have a million different things they can do, let alone just... Seriously. So, let's see. Second quarter profit and sales that exceeded analyst estimates. Uh, You're exactly right. Avengers and Aladdin Toys yep. following the blockbuster film releases. There you go. Yeah. The company said, yeah, look at this. Oh, my God. That's... that's. Oh, then, you get, then they get Frozen. They get Star Wars. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, <laughs> pretty wild, huh? And it's remarkable, too, that, I mean, all of these companies are making their cut of that right i mean this oh just, yeah i mean hasbro's just getting a piece of the pie totally. and that's enough to totally. sell those toys um yep and it's amazing that you always hear these box office totals right what did avengers just clip like two billion or 1.3 whatever they just, they just overtook uh star wars as no the biggest uh, Aven uh avatar they okay. just took over to avatar yeah. um and you never hear into that the other avenues of revenue in terms which of are monsters. This, which is licensing, the names, the likes, you know. Yeah. yeah. Now, hey, check this out, folks. Okay, this is pretty wild. So, Rheology. Yeah. Rheology Holdings, okay? Now, this equity is a mess. Now, the thing is so intriguing about this, and there's no way it should be a mess because real estate has been going one way since 2011. Yes. 
And these, okay, so Rheology, this is the Holden Company. It's the Holden Company for, let's go through them. Everyone's yeah. going to know all these names. Century 21, Caldwell Banker, ERA, Better Homes and Gardens, no. Sotheby's. Yeah, it was Better Homes and Gardens, and then Gardens Real Estate. I think those are two different, yeah. Sotheby's. I see Sotheby's signs all the, the time. The Corcoran neighbor. Group. The Corcoran Group is a monster in New York, okay? okay? Um, anyway, bottom line, let's, let's look at the chart first, because when you see this, it's like... You Brace know, yourself, people. They've been doing oh, something I don't know. One more oops, time, just try wrong yeah. for a bit. They certainly have, and every earnings, you can see that, that drop on the chart, man. So, <laughs> the high of uh, 2015 was 49 You're at $6. Yeah. Now, they're getting a bump up today, and this gets really intriguing. Sure Why? Does. Because you get Amazon in the middle of the mix here. Giants in the room. Watch out. Yep. So, Rheology Holdings jumped the most since 2012 after announcing a partnership with Amazon under the new program called Turnkey. Potential buyers searching for a home on Amazon on the Amazon portal will be directly connected to a Rheology agent. Clients who go on to purchase a home will receive up to 5,000 in products and services from Amazon, including smart home products and deep cleaning and handyman services. Rheology said in a statement. So I can't wait to see, you know, up to 5,000. How does that work? It, if yeah. it's a scale, and I'm sure if we can go over to the Amazon portal oh, and, and I'm find sure we'll out. Hear about that. Yeah, right. right. Um, intriguing nonetheless. I mean, that's another area ripe with margins. You know, what real estate agents oh, yeah. make on but a percentage basis on a product you're selling for hundreds of thousands of dollars. There's no doubt. For sometimes very little work. Sometimes there's an extraordinary amount of work. Most it, of it the really time. It really varies, though. Listen, right? we're and in the business. Most of the time it's very little work. That's the, the, and for I, the fee they're getting. Yes. You know, that, that compared to the dollar amount you get that's right. for the work put in, sometimes it's extraordinary as in you got to put ads you got to market it you got to do it for a year you got to yeah. do whatever other times you get the listing somebody else finds you right yes. whatever it is in one in, phone in call a day right and you're banking 15 20 grand um in, I know. in a moment it's, well amazon it they sucks love that it business. sucks it sucks the pro the profit out of the yes of, right, out huge, of the business because it, that it money comes from somewhere it otherwise does. it could be a cheaper house maybe they're you know you get that money then you yep. have money to put in it you can put 15 grand into the house and start right. putting it into the real no, estate agent uh, Amazon, so five thousand dollars, not that big of a piece of the pie, man. Yeah. But it'd be interesting to see. It's, it. What's intriguing here? I, I, so it has in here that Rheology shares have retreated more than sixty percent through Monday amid concerns that a slowdown in the housing market. Well, that hasn't happened, okay? But earlier this month, the company filed a lawsuit against rival Compass, claiming that the real estate startup uses unfair business practices, illegal schemes, market share. So what's probably happening is that. They've been doing something wrong because, right, yeah. <laughs> you know, it's like, yeah. yeah, well, let's just look at the, at the revenue model because we, we know that the, the revenue of houses sold has gone up dramatically, and yet, well, look at this one. They're, they're expecting, what's going on here? They're expecting, they did $1.1 in the last quarter, now they're going to pop up to one point seven. So they must have bought someone else. That's just $600 million in 90 days, a difference? There's something, yeah, there's no, something in here there's, we don't know. No, there's a big jump always, though. You see it quarter to quarter. Oh, cool. Yeah. Okay, yeah. It's very wow. That is that's pretty wild. Yeah. yeah. So that must be uh, it's spring and summer, you know, because across the country, yeah. we're in Florida. It's more level out, but you know, I can understand. In the winter, people aren't out there buying houses. And yeah, when it's tramping through two degrees the, yeah. in Chicago in February. You no, know, totally. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> and the houses don't show too well when you get mud all over them. Yeah. And so. The uh, market out here, let's go look at this S&P for a second. So you, you get a nice, fast sell-down inside that S&P. Uh, ESU9. No, yeah. it's not that brutal. It, no, it's funny. It's it looks, points. It, we were at yeah. 3,000, almost right on the dot around right. the market open. Yeah. Um, yeah, compared to the volatility of two days ago, nothing too dramatic, right? I mean, pretty remarkable. This is, uh, yeah, that's Friday. Yes. We're up there at 3,010, and before you know it, man, you were trading at 29.74. Yeah. And then when you make it all the way, and we're backing off a bit. All right, so this yeah. one here, this is pretty cool, folks. I mean, if you're intraday doing something, this is just a, this just came back to, you know, where you had some selling, and to me, it looks like it's already rejected price here. Let me pull this, let's see. Because if you bring it all the way over here, you're going to see that. What's that number there? That number is uh, a ten points below twenty nine eighty three. I believe, right? Is yeah, it is at? eighty yeah. eighty. 
What are you looking six? at? The high there? Okay. Yeah. I just have where you have the bar across. No, look at 29.85 is the high. And we bar. just got to 29.87. So that's the test of that bar. And that bar was at uh, 10 of 4 on Friday. And that was option expiration, too. They sold right into option expiration. So we, I think that 29.87 is going back to here. We actually got to 29.90. Oh, I see. Cool. I got it. Yes. Okay. And so what Tommy's saying is that that's uh, last, that night. Is last night. Last night. So yeah. At ten, at ten o'clock at night. Yeah. So it's going to be B Y N D. <laughs> Look at this, folks. This I is... joked with you. I was listening to some Bloomberg oh, earlier this morning. God. Tom Keen said, "You know, it's up because it's going to be in the Dow 30 because it's you know." And, and I said, to... "Really?" So, oh man, <laughs> come on, man, come on! Don't drink the Kool Aid just yet. This is sick. It Look is sick. It's, we should look at because I just kept. So that's all time highs. Two hundred and five dollars. Gives it a market cap of six. What is it? Twelve, 12 billion. Yeah, it's up seven hundred percent from the IPO. Twelve billion. And we got to look at Tyson when we get back because yeah. I'm always. And they took in forty million last quarter. Seems reasonable. Yeah, totally. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I come right back. folks, Tom O'Brien here. If you'd like to get my daily newsletter, Market Insights, then now is a great time to sign up for a 30-day free trial. Every morning by 9.30, I send out my morning letter to subscribers with market commentary on a variety of markets, currencies, and commodities to keep investors up to date on the day's trading action. Included in Market Insights are specific buy and sell recommendations for stocks, ETFs, and even options, with stops and price targets included for every trade in my newsletter. If you'd like to try my newsletter risk-free for 30 days, then head over to the front page of TFNN and you'll find market insights under trading newsletters. I use my years of trading experience to bisect and dissect the market every morning and give my subscribers the most important information they need to know for the day ahead. I even issue afternoon updates for my subscribers whenever warranted with important market action. I'm always scouring the market for the next great trading opportunity. Sign up for your 30-day free trial to my daily newsletter, Market Insights, today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Wow! Go get them, folks! The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN.com now. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now uh, up two. You get the NASDAQ down 64. D down two, rather. NASDAQ is up. No. Dow is up 65. We're getting there. Yeah. <laughs> NASDAQ is up one. S&Ps are up three. Now, inside the Dow, let me just, what was the uh, high this morning? It was big, right? 
I think we're probably 50 or 60. I don't okay, think it's that's not that bad. Okay. I mean, we're like 10 S and P points off the high. What is it? Yeah, we're 65 points off the dot. Okay. 27.3 right on the dot. Yeah. yeah. So inside the Dow, let's take a look at the strength versus the weakness. I was wondering if Coca-Cola would be up there. They sure are. Yeah. Coke's putting the. Uh, that's the the strength out here today. Coke's putting 17 points. Goldman 15. 3M 15. United Technologies 13. Now it's remarkable though. It's price weighted index, right? You got one of the cheapest stocks in the Dow, 53 dollars yes. uh, up. I mean, that's a mammoth move. You're talking about 5%, right? Yep. If you were up 5% in Boeing, you'd be up $17. So you can see the difference of the price versus $2 just having an impact of 17 points. When Boeing rocks and rolls, we see putting 100 points one way or the other into the Dow. Yeah. Uh, Travelers is taken away. Procter & Gamble, uh, Travelers minus 20. Procter & Gamble minus 8. IBM minus uh, 8. Uh, this afternoon, if you're going to get hungry, folks... Uh, <laughs> you going from Mexican? I am, man. <laughs> I'd, I'd never go to this place, but anyway. Um, no, I would. They, they, I enjoy their uh, their deals, and I think they're in safety territory now. Yeah. You don't trust them still? Years. No, no, you know what? I just never liked them anyway, so it wasn't the... Uh, it, it turned into a trust you issue afterwards. Why? You want to tell people why if you're saying you never liked them anyway? No? Yeah, because I just like real Mexican food. Like, you know. I don't know what that means. Okay. Well, it's not they're Chipotle, pretty, that's for sure. No. They're pretty organic and authentic to give it as... Uh, yeah. Product. The, the low for the, look at this, look at this. You talk about expansion of price, folks. The low for the year is 383. The high is 765. So they got a rocket ship going on. Sure do. Their, where's their growth? Let me see this here. So. I think if you go to description, it'll give that uh, percentage growth on the bottom, maybe? No, or the revenue. That, yeah, right. Oh, there, thank you, yeah. Let's. There we go, yeah. They say only 2.6%, but they they got up pretty substantially for that, right? And I think what happened, though, is that that, they, it, that gives a three-year, and that's actually the worst three-year. Okay, that, That's 2015, cool. yep. which you'll see there is the is beginning there. of the woes, up yep. to 2018. Um, but the market now pricing in that probably the growth over the last 12 months, I bet, yep. and the growth projected over the next 12 months, much more in line as that stock has just rocket shit, man. Chipotle. Now, you know, it's really cool here, folks. Okay, so check this out. When I get this chart up, right? Let me do this on a weekly, because this looks to me just like a test of the last highs, and it's not going to hold price. Let me see what that price is going to be. So the price is going to be, yeah, it's the, the price is 758, and we made it to 765. Yeah. So, so what that sets up, this is going to be pretty cool watching how this shakes out. Th what that would set up is that when they come out with numbers, the numbers are not going to be what the market wants. Technically, I'm talking about now, sure. okay? Now, which is really cool, if we take a look at this and we'll just put it closer, that is saying that we got game here. I'd say that gap is game, which is that? That's 670, 687. Oh, that's definitely a game. Just yeah. because it just went from 380, right? No, no, and, for and sure. I, I mean, for so sure. let's just even... Um, whoops, that's not what I wanted. How do we draw on here? I want I want to put the um, antidote. The, uh, antidote the second one right in. Ah, there we go. Tiny text. Perfect. I wanted to see just going from this low, right? Oh, come on. Nope, you got the wrong. There we go, right? No, you, you had it. It was just it's slow. And for some reason, the Bloomberg was slow. Tell that computer to keep up. Um, so look at that, 38% uh, retracement would be 621. What do you yeah. say, 670 something? That's yeah. a 23% retracement. It's nothing. The first right, yeah, exactly. For sure. So now let's just look at this. I'm Can curious. Can you do the description for them first? Yep. I want to see how, because tying it back to almost Beyond Meat in terms of, so check this out, Chipotle, $20 billion company. Beyond yep. Meat, $12 billion company. Can we go to their revenue? Because I think they're going to have more than like $40 million that Beyond Meat had. Yeah, they take in over a billion dollars every 90 days. Right. And you're talking about, you know, barely worth more than a company like Beyond Meat. I don't know what you feel about their Mexican man. Come on. I mean, that's the, the levels are. Go ahead. And then, okay, so the, we want to. Oh, here we go. Well, if, if I'm thinking it's going down, 730s. Let's take a look. 730s. Oh, see, that, that's where it gets. So the 730s, it, at the money put right now, folks, is going to cost you $28. Now, that's going out to 816, though. That's giving yourself. These are these are August. Oh, yeah, no, no. I, 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 that's I, a whole month long, right, If you're playing the right. earnings. This is, so let's just see. We like uh, Chipotle Mexican oh, yeah. Grill. And then we go over to the analyze. Let's pull it again. CMG, Ooh. forty-five bucks, baby. Get Ooh. ready for some action. You want? Yeah. That's what you know. And that's the expected Isn't market it, maker move. You know, what's so funny about the forty-five bucks is at the number of the at the gap. 
Right? 687. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's pretty crazy. Yeah. You know, so as, if you bought the put, you wouldn't make any money if it went there. You know? Yeah, now you'd be buying both, the put and the call, though. So which way? No, no, I was just saying, I, on this particular one, I'd, I'd just be buying a put, saying okay. that, okay, I think it's going lower, you know, yeah. when the earnings yeah. are coming out. Now, if it went all the way down there, though, just to bring people, there'd be a lot of premiums still priced in. That option was for four more extra weeks, so yeah. it would be priced, you'd definitely have some money in there for sure, but right. probably wouldn't be the best way to play it, maybe. Uh, no, because I, I bet there's probabilities that are priced in there right now, and, and the... The volatility will come out of the oh, yeah. on both sides of it as soon as they come out. This is the volatility. Right. Forty four dollars. Yeah, it's exactly. Gonna get sunk down exactly. to Harvey, right? I, yeah, totally. pretty Marco. That that's a move. So we'll see where that yeah. moves after the bell. Uh, let's just check it out. We have Visa coming out with earnings as well. Hundred and eighty dollars stock, we'll call it. Visa, a little bit less volatility play, yep. priced into their earnings of four dollars one way or the other. Uh, Snapchat as well coming out today. Snapchat, much bigger volatility percentage-wise. We have $14 stock and $2, $2 one move. way or the other um, just for today. Yeah. Let's go to Steve in Nashville. Hey, Steve, what's going on, brother? Hey, do you like your coffee black or uh, I know. What are, you, what are you drinking I, today, man? It's actually on Panera Pete today. Ah, Panera Pete. Perfect. Poor Dunkin' Donuts. You know, you. I think you, you got Dunkin' Donuts going like in all of Florida, man. You know, down here right now, there are more Dunkin' Donuts than I've seen in so... Well, they never had them when I first come down here. Sure. Now they're everywhere, yeah, Steve. Yeah. Everywhere, you know. Yeah, how you been? All right, everything good? Good, man. Yourself? Uh, all good, all good. Trying to sell my house. Oh, and cool. Hottest weekend of the year up here last weekend. I know. Yeah, we all uh, what happens? My, my central air conditioning unit totally dies. 4700 bucks. Oh, bummer, man. They're right. installing it right this second. Oh, my God. That's, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Hey, it's Murphy's Law. Murphy's Law. And I'm sure you're not the uh, only one up there, Steve. It's yeah. Like that heat just had to knock out a lot. That's unfortunate. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Say, I, guys, I, I was just uh, looking at GPL again. I see recently it looks like it's did an A to B. Let's take a look. We with, get with volume. Okay, we get Great Panther Silver. The lows fifty three cents of the year. The high is uh, one nineteen. This is a producer. Uh, they take in sixty five million, and they're just still at a break even. Um, you know, at, at the yeah. price of silver right now. Uh, what we have is that, you know, this this was slow compared to the other silver stocks. You know, to to basically yeah. get off the lows. Um, yes. Yeah. That it being, does look like it just did at eight B. No, it did. It 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 you know, and it it has the juice behind it. Here, just wait right there, Steve, okay? We get a quick break, we'll come I'll right try. back. Our phone number is eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. We have the Dow Industrials right now up ninety two, Nasdaq is up eight, S and P's up six, Tommy and I are coming right back. If you're in the CD market and looking for a secure investment, the Tiger First Mortgage Program may work for you. The security for these first mortgages are building lots in the Tax Opportunity Zone in St. Petersburg, Florida. The Tax Act of 2018 set up tax-free zones across the country where you can build and hold for 10 years and pay no tax on the profits, which makes these lots valuable. The investment is anywhere from $30,000 to $75,000. The interest paid is 7% yearly paid on a monthly basis. According to Bankrate.com, the best rate for a four-year CD in the country as of February 20th is 3.1%. A $50,000 investment at a normal four-year CD rate of 3.1% would give you income of $1,550 per year or $6,200 over the four-year period. That same $50,000 investment in a Tiger First Mortgage Program would give you $3,500 per year or $14,000 over the four years. Which would you prefer, $6,200 or $14,000 of interest on your investment? If you would like more information about the Tiger First Mortgage Program, you can call me at 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. If you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. Stay informed each day you trade and get that competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. 
Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Welcome back, folks. We're, start, we're talking with our man, uh, Steve, from Nashville. We're talking about um, Great Panther. So let's take a look at this. You got Now, Great Panther also, Steve, is coming out with his numbers uh, after the close on Thursday. So let me put this in a weekly for a second. Okay, so you did get the price spread. You're at 92 it's, a, it's, it's what I really want to see with Great Panther is another sign of strength, because what I can't quite figure out is that why this didn't take off like a rocket ship with the rest of the, not the rest of them, but many of the silvers took off big time. Do you know what I'm saying? So, you know, if you're in this, you want to see some volume going higher to 98 cents before <coughs> Thursday after the close. Because if you if you don't get that, that's telling me that yeah, this thing can you know get down to 82 cents again, man. So, um, you know, it's it's a it's a close call. You know, when you, when you take a look at these other silvers, they just have much more strength. You know, so. We still got Steve there. You there? No, oh, somehow we lost him. Okay, somehow we lost him. It, and where I'm going with this um, with this 90 folks is that you can see. That's March of this year. Okay. Yeah. Now, that had a great bar in, in March 15th, the week of March 15th. The problem is is that those bars, after you go below those bars, the top, of, the bottom of that bar now is, is you know. Resistance. It is. Yeah. You know, it's some heavy resistance. So That's quite a bar, man. What was going on on March 15th of this year for Great Panther? My goodness. No, I know. It, it, went, was it went from 95 to uh, 115, but yeah, then just gave it up. volume that's almost an anomaly. Right. And, you know, if we bring this back, what you're going to see... I'll do it on a. Are you there, Steve? Okay, we lost him. Uh, if you bring this back, what you're going to see is that you know this this thing, it, it had a great week last week, no doubt. And you know you can make the case that okay, it's going to a buck nineteen, but what happens to me is that I'm looking at the rest of that silver market sure. also, and it's are <laughs> you performing versus your peers? Seriously, and so look at Pan American silver. I mean. You know, you're talking about it went from 1027, you're at 1595, and it has monster volume. Yeah. Right? You got First Majestic, you know, this thing's a rocket ship, too. Now, this is a high, always a highly volatile stock, but sure. guess what? It went from 540 to 1026, highly volatile also. And when you put these on weeklies, what you're going to see is that the, and, and I got a, call, got a call yesterday, and this was pretty cool, the, the call I got yesterday, because if you, I was talking about the the funds, according to Bloomberg, came into the uh, SLV, the heaviest that they've ever come into it, meaning the ETF structure, last week. Yes. Okay? So the, what the question was is that, okay, we have 
um, ETFs that, uh, you know, did they come into the ETF market also for the, for the uh, equities? And they did. And well, I, we, we don't know who came in yet. So That's what the difference. Money got put into ETFs yep. around the metal of right. silver. And Question that, being, did the same amount of money go into ETFs designed for equities? Right. So I'm just and so, and so the, the differential is that because of the aspect of uh, the ETF versus the futures market, uh, the commodity futures market has to report every Friday who's coming in. So they showed that funds are even coming into the commodity futures market okay. in silver, where the SL SIL won't get reported to you know the 13F, which is okay, the end of the quarter and another 45 yeah. days after that, right? But watch this. This is I brought two of these up, and it's like whoa. You talk about volume coming in. Someone's coming in. You know, on a weekly basis, normally a good week is uh, 1.2 million. Yeah. Averages out there maybe 500,000. Sure, Look at this. Yeah. 3.4 million. Yeah. It's a mammoth move for silver. Yeah. Right? You know so. That's that's kind of where I'm at with the with that with that aspect, and you know, silver's still moving out here this morning, which is pretty impressive. And that's a good segue, man, to jump over to the gold report. Nine hundred. Oh yeah. Target dollar sale we're having, and you just say like, you know, how are they performing towards against your peers, right? Yes. So you go over all these different mining equities in here, and it's always interesting looking at where those stocks, because I look at the prices sometimes of where they were last week in last week's newsletter, right, and where they are this week. And, you know, when gold has a big week, they're all up, right? right? And then occasionally, though, it's like, oh, one didn't even move. Right. Well, one's going down. That's and right. that's why it's awesome when you're looking at all those different equities because there's something going on there, man. When you have every other equity in that sector, you have the metal itself going up. Right. And that's why, you know, the gold report, people like it so much, man. You're breaking down all the equity. So 900th Gold Report Tiger Dollar Sale, issue 900 published yesterday. You can sign up. So this is basically a Tiger Dollar Sale. You spend 495 you get 695 Tiger Dollars. You can apply that to anything that we offer. Any subscribers out there, Larry Pizzavento, Steve Rhodes, Dave White, Basil Chapman, this is a Tiger Dollar sale. You spend 495, you get 695. 695, the exact price a year of the Gold Report. So right. you're able to get in there, you sign up for the Gold Report for a year, you pay 495, you get 12 months of it, and um, you lock in a lower rate because we are going up even beyond the 695 to 785, not to throw too many numbers, but as of August 1st, 785 for a year going up. So check that out. You pay 495, you get a year of the gold report. Less than 10 bucks a week. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I think that's the lowest we've ever offered that price um, in terms of able to lock in 12 months where you're paying less than 10 bucks a week for that report. And um, you get some big winners in there right now, man, of course, as you should with gold rocking and rolling, baby. But still, it's a great time. Uh, hopefully gold's at highs when you got issue uh, 1,000 out there too, man. Two years. Oh it's all going to be in two I'm years. I'm telling you. Well, you know, it, it, it's the, the thing that's amazing on this run right here is that the dollar is still at highs. You know, so it's sure. like, okay, this dollar has not given it up. Now, the dollar is up today as was yesterday, and there's no volume behind the move. But guess what? It's at highs. So whatever, you know, buying is in that metal market, it's pretty uh, intense buying. There's no two ways about that. And just to pull up, that's it. so I had done this with Basil, right? This is where it gets interesting when you're oh. looking at like, what's the 10 year at? We'll call it 2% for simple math, right? Okay. I know it's a little above. Yeah. It's at like 2.03 or something. Gold's trading at, what was gold trading at right now? We got it right here. Gold's at 14.25, right? Right. So at 14.25, that's your initial principle, right? right? You have $1,425. What yeah. would you like to do with it, sir, right? You want to buy an ounce of gold? You want to invest in a 10 year treasury. Okay. You invest in a 10 year treasury, all right, you're not adding anything on. You got your 1400 Yeah. Well, it's a 10-year. You're going to grow for 10 years, right? Yeah. There's your 10 years. All right, what's your interest rate? 2.05, what the 10 years at, right? Okay. $1,745.60. So this is where we talk about, Kevin, you get to make the decision, right? You have $1,425. What would you like to do, and you think that you'll end up more? Would you like to buy one ounce of gold? Yeah. Or would you like to buy a 10-year treasury, and in 10 years, do you think gold's going to be at 17 45 60 or higher? Yeah, it's $320 cool. more in 10 years. Well, that's that's guaranteed what you're going to have in the 10-year. I know. So that's where you get to decide. Right. Is it a more profitable situation? Where you, now, there's a lot of other. Is it, is it more profitable? You can't even get Dunkin' Donuts coffee for that. Is it more profitable <laughs> to buy? And we're dealing with the U.S. 10-year. You want me to throw right. the German um, Bund in there? Yeah. You know, the French um, at almost 0%. Wow. But it's cool when you think about it like that. And, you know, you can have a piece of every pie. 
but as in, I would say that's a pretty decent estimate that gold might be at 1745 or higher over the next 10 years. Now, you should have some bonds in your portfolio, too, but that's, that's pretty, what you got to That's cool, look at. man. Yeah. yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, that is it. 10 years. I know. Yeah. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I come right back. Dow. Dow's up 77. Nasdaq's up 10. S&P's are up 6. I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12 12, 6, and 3 months. Timer Digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well. The fact is, markets can be timed, and I'll teach you the exact set of tools that I use that has transformed me into one of the best at what I do. Sign up for Mastering Probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of TFNN.com and get immediate access to workshops where I take you step-by-step -step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. Sign up today. Tom O'Brien published the 900th issue of his weekly newsletter, The Gold Report, on July 22nd. It's amazing he started The Gold Report more than 17 years ago when gold was trading at only $252. To celebrate, we're having a special Tiger Dollar sale. Right now, you can spend only $495, and we'll give you 200 extra Tiger Dollars, so you'll end up with 695 Tiger Dollars, which is the yearly price of The Gold Report. Tiger Dollars can be used for any TFNN newsletter or service, and this offer is open to new and current subscribers. With gold making six-year highs and gold mining equities trading higher, this is a great time to sign up for the Gold Report at a dramatic savings. For all the details, visit the front page of TFNN.com. This deal ends July 31st, so don't miss out. Get your Tiger Dollars and sign up today for the Gold Report 900th issue sale. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials up 82. Nasdaq up 11. S&P's up 6.5. We got a little volatility in there. It looks like when we pull that up, I mean, it went back to that area, decided to reject price. Yeah. And, um, you know, you talk about earnings. We are in this in a huge way. Uh, Quite a week. Yeah. Yeah. It's, 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 it's a big number. Hog. Let's go to Hog for a second because yeah. they didn't come out with numbers, but yet they're bidding it up. No, I believe they did. Oh, they did. No, I mean they didn't make their numbers. Okay. So, but uh, guess what? You know, they made some of their Look numbers, at this. I look guess, at this thing, right? man. It it all. Oh, spiked down. Look at that. Opens at 33, spikes to 32.66. Uh -huh. Then just says yeah. no. I'm not going to stay down there. I mean, it didn't spike too much. Look at that chart. It kind of just opened lower and barely. Let's see what we got here. What are they saying? Okay, so that's it there. Okay. Cuts year motorcycle shipments views second earnings per share beat. Okay, so here's the number. So earnings per share, the estimate was 141. They made 146. Revenue, 
I don't see the revenue there. Uh, yeah, I know. A revenue, uh, 1.44. They made 1.43. This so. is where you see, I think, probably some of the headlines coming in. So you have adjusted earnings per share. Yeah. For now, this is accounting versus just earnings per share, 123 versus 145 year over year. Yeah. So I don't know what the estimate is when you get into earnings versus adjusted. Um, margins, 31.7. They were looking for 32.9. I mean, that's a more than a percent miss on your entire margin for right. the 90 days. I imagine that's a big number. Um, let's inch up and see what they got here in terms of, yeah, beats by seven, missed on revenue, nonetheless, man, trading higher. It looks yep. like the market, they're, they're probably worried going into this earnings. They said, ah, things are all right, maybe. Stay right there, folks. We got um, Fast Market coming up next. Then we go, I'm Mr. Basil Chapman, Steve Rhodes, Dave White. Be back this afternoon. Thanks, pal. Thanks, man. Go get him, folks.